Hi, I'm Venus O'Hara and I make content about holistic self-love. Today I wanted to talk about oversharing and why you should stop oversharing or rethink how much you are sharing at least. I'm a recovering oversharer and that is why I was inspired to share this video today because um, I want to share what I've learned about the experience. Yes, so not so long ago I shared, well I've been sharing a lot of my life with a lot of people and um, someone betrayed my trust and they repeated something that I, I considered to be a bit too personal and um, yeah it was repeated to people who don't, are not even in my inner circle so I was very hurt by that. And, um, and it made me think about, about oversharing and why I felt the need to share so much, or why I've been like that in the past so much. I think for me, oversharing has been, I have really felt the need to get things off my chest. Um, I've needed validation, I've needed some feedback, a sounding board, and emotional support. That's probably the main reason why I've shared so much in my past. And sharing can give you a lots of lots of validation and also when you share something vulnerable with someone else and they share something vulnerable with you that can really create um trust it can create the foundation for a good friendship but just because there's reciprocity in the sharing doesn't mean that all your secrets will be honored and held and um and not repeated that's un that's very very unfortunate i remember i was uh, with a friend not so long ago and she was talking about another friend and about her financial situation, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to tell you anything personal because I, uh, I was receiving information from uh, about people I didn't really know that well that was very personal to them. And I thought, if someone's doing that with someone else, you know that that person is doing it with you. So you have to be very careful about who you're sharing your intimate, the intimate details of your life with. For me now, I really pay attention to the conversation topics with friends and, and listen to how they talk about other people, if at all, because you know if they are repeating the, the personal stuff, they're doing exactly the same with you. I like to pride myself on being very discreet. If some, someone tells me something, it goes no further. I'm very good at that. Um, and even with my own life, some people might think that because I'm online and I'm kind of out there, that there are no boundaries, but there are definitely boundaries. I actually maybe, might be, I might be even more aware of those boundaries because I'm online. And sometimes if I tell, let's say, some friends in my private life something personal, and then they tell someone else, and this other person who I don't know can look at my Instagram, look at my, um, my YouTube, and then know certain things about me which are very private. And I find that very, very, very uncomfortable. And I know that's happened a lot in the past. So now I'm in a phase where I'm kind of really dialing back on, on what I'm sharing. And I think everyone should also rethink that as well. Not just people who are influencers, but anyone. Um, for example, a lot of people have online profiles now anyway. You don't have to be an influencer to be online. And um, I think um, some of my friends I've seen um, share things like, you know, a video or, or a of where they live or um, or a photo where you can kind of see out the window and see the location. That's a very dangerous thing to do. You should always um, think about that because you never know who's watching. And for me, I when I was traveling I, um, a lot in a previous apartment that I had, I never used to post in real time where I was because I was always afraid of thinking. Because I was in, a, in an area where there were lots of squatters and I was thinking, I don't want to get home and find some squatters in my apartment, you know? So I was always aware of that as well. And also I tend to attract in my life very private people. So I would not want to be too out there um, with, with what I'm sharing. I do tend to share, for me, I like to share what I've learned about a certain situation rather than being very explicit about the situation that I'm, that I'm actually referring to. I don't know if that makes any sense, but even in my erotic writings, which are based on my own life, I tend to focus on what the feelings were. It's not really about the other person or the logistics of it or when it happened. It's just like, I felt all of these things and um, these things happened inside my, my psyche, inside my heart. And... Um, a, a person who I will not describe provoked this in me or I share that with that person. So yeah, uh, another thing which is really, really important is about oversharing is that, you know, we have to think about safety, privacy, but also misunderstandings. When things get repeated, there tends to be, uh, they tend to get um, exaggerated and um, yeah, really blown out of proportion. So that's very something you have to really um, 
take care of as well. And um, some, something that I really enjoy is actually um, is, is being able to have a conversation with someone and not getting into the private side of our lives unless it's someone you know very, very well. I, I don't think you need to be very personal and vulnerable in order to have a deep conversation. For example, I go to this uh, private members club that I've been going to for a year and a half now, and I really pride myself on my discretion in that ambiance. I kind of walk into the main room and I have no idea what the dynamics between the other people are, but some people who are a little bit gossipy have brought it to my attention. This person's been with this person, this person, blah, blah, blah. And um, that makes me very uncomfortable to speak to someone and I'm thinking, I know something very personal about you and you don't know that I know that. That's just, ooh, super uncomfortable because then you never know what others know about you and they're talking to you and you don't, you, you, have, you have no idea that someone knows something very personal about you. I don't know if that makes any sense. But I've been able to kind of look, look beyond that and um, when I have conversations with people, I tr tend to focus on you know, personal development books, um, learnings, um, tips for productivity, things like that, and then you could, or spirituality even. And I can, I've been able to ha have some very interesting, stimulating and deep conversations without getting into the areas of gossip. Because as they say, um, small minds talk about people, mediocre minds talk about events, and then great minds talk about ideas. So that's how I like to keep it in my life at the moment. So I'm really trying to think, um, to, I'm trying to be intentional now with what I'm sharing and who I'm sharing things with. And also I'm honoring other people's secrets in me because that's something that's amazing about, you know, being, working in the, in the field of sexuality. I mean, people may assume that I get judged a lot, which I probably do, but I'm not aware of. But what happens more often than not is that people perceive me as a very, trust a worthy person and they tell me their secrets but their secrets do not go beyond me you know it's uh it's, it's nice to be perceived as as, a, as a, someone who can safeguard someone's secrets especially someone i've just met like they just see that if i'm talking about sexuality i must be an open-minded non-judgmental person which of course i am and that's it so i would encourage you to stop oversharing if you are an oversharer or think about why why are you oversharing and who it's really important to to think of those two things and going back to online content, um, many um, many people blow up on, or is it, do you say blow up <laughs> on social media when they become vulnerable? You know that happens with a lot. That's happened with a lot of influencers. Um, and I know someone who is a wannabe influencer who has kind of a very small channel, and they've been thinking about making a video that's very vulnerable. And I ask them, what is the why? Why, why do you want to make this video? Is it because you want to get that thing off your chest and help others? Or is it for the views and the subscribers, you know? I think we have to dial back when we are sharing and ask ourselves why we are sharing, what's the purpose, and who are you sharing it with? Will they honour your secrets? Yeah, so I wanted to share that with you today, overshare with you. And um, if you, I, I want to share another gift with you today as well. I have made something called the Life Upgrade Meditation, which is a free meditation with 100 powerful affirmations that correspond to the 12 areas of life from the life wheel. And these areas um, include things like work, money, love, um, family, intimacy, um, sense of purpose, um, environment, a contribution to society and fitness and health and all of those things. And um, I'm giving it away for free. It's a 16 minute meditation. I'm doing it every day actually to try and um, upgrade my life. So it's a life upgrade meditation. And if you would like to download it, um, check out the link here. It was also in the description below. So that's it. So if you have any ideas or do you would like to share any um any reflections on the topic of oversharing, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I read and reply all, to all the comments. And also if you have any ideas for new topics in the area of holistic self-love, don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusahara.org or you can leave a comment because I read and reply to all of the comments. Thanks for watching and check out my free meditation. Mwah.